We're gonna put more pressure. He is still way too close. Look at that damage. He now has to back or in 10 seconds he dies again. He's upset. He wants to poke me back. But that's not the play. Yep, he's backing. No, he's not backing. Okay, that just means he's dead. I warned him. I warned him. He didn't listen. You guys know I warned him, right? You saw that. So don't blame me. What is up, beautiful people? It's Siladin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing as a Nike in mid. Coming here by Bastet in jungle against what looks like a Thoth and Bagus or a combo. Nike mid, you would say how bullshit it is, but just wait and see. She is actually quite insane. I'm not going to be joking around here saying that I actually use Nike to get out of the low ranked elo hell she's very good the oe has auto attacks a lot of pressure on my one a lot of clear on my one we're gonna out clear the thought obviously uh, a thought has a pretty bad clear nowadays he is in a tight spot maybe if i went for a jump here he might have actually died i'm not joking i would have knocked him up he would have got the minion damage and but unfortunately i want more clear for my two Oh, hello. Yeah, you're still in range. Gonna just do this. Wait for my jungler to come up. Unfortunately, she's like very busy. Gonna kill Baxter here in a second. Not enough damage, unfortunately. Oh, look at the, look at Bestad just standing there. That's okay. Ooh, Thoth is very, very close to dying. He hit that. That means we pop a Rages here. I can get still chased by Baka. Good jump, good jump, really good jump. Unfortunately, we don't have a jungler over here, but don't worry, it's not gonna hold us. For some reason, there's a Habwa in the enemy solo lane. There's also an Honor in our solo lane, <laughs> and that's very confusing, but I mean... It's a casual match, so I guess we're not gonna dwell too much on it. But if I were that best stat, I would have been living in that solo lane. Let's poke him out. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. We stack him up nicely. We put some more poke. He has to dash. That means that we can poke again. Maybe even kill if the damage is there. Let's check it out. No, he doesn't push up enough. That's fine. We're going for the mids then. Gonna ward up just to make sure that he doesn't push up. If he does, I'm easily killing him. We're rushing Transcendence here, by the way. Obviously, we want that power. We want that AoE attacks to hurt. We're jumping him. He's way too close. He got me rooted. If he pushes up, he did push up. Hello! That's what I'm talking about. That's that's the silly part of the Nike. You can do this shit. And the cooldown was pretty short, especially with Thoth, who's not like very good mid pick. I would rather say a pretty bad mid pick, actually. Despite my loft of thought, it's really shitty, man. And against top tier mids, you can struggle a little bit, but against this, you, you just bully him so hard. Oh, what you doing, man? I got a thing, you know? This thing. He's so slow now. That's his Aegis. Fortunately, he's dead. I don't know what this man was thinking. He just got murdered. And his next response as soon as he enters the lane is to dash me. Give me all that sweet golden experience, my man. There's the clear. We're going to go for the red buff. We have full tier transcendence. I guess I'm going to pick up the red on my way back and just allow this uh, bastard to form up a little bit and get an experience because we have so much pressure in mid. We're going to put more pressure. He is still way too close. Look at that damage. He now has to back or in 10 seconds he dies again. He's upset, he wants to poke me back, but that's not the play. 
Yep, he's backing. No, he's not backing. Okay, that just means he's dead. I warned him. I warned him. He didn't listen. You guys know I warned him, right? You saw that. So don't blame me. I don't know what he's thinking here. It was as obvious as it gets, right? Oh, this is actually up, huh? So we're grabbing this. As you can see, right now my damage is pretty much on par with any decent mid mage. So our clear is great. And this, this, it's also really fun to do that. We need to disengage here. That was a good disengage. I aegis his jump. Now we can actually put down some damage. Juke that successfully. Good stuff. We're safe and we're still killing this thought as soon as the backer leaves the lane. Oh, look at him being upset. He actually wasted a bunch of mana here. Oh, my guy. Oh, I, I was like a second away from jumping him. We got this shield. As long as we have it, he can't do shit to us. Yeah, that buff is down. Go back to the base. Buff has it worded. Oh, he pushes up. He's so aggressive. Man, you just need to learn to let it go. We haven't lost yet. Just let it... Oh, I'm gonna grab it. It's way, way risky and stupid. We're gonna pay it with our lives for it. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, the animations. Oh my god, the animation. <laughs> what the hell? Stop fucking yelling. Just jump, you bitch. In case you guys wondering... Oh, like you're a warrior in mid, you gonna have trouble in the late game. You need to check up on her scalings. She has 90% scalings on most of her abilities. That means the high power that I'm building, it's gonna stack up. Oh, this man is about to die. Please turn. Oh, please. Give me all of that damage. What are you doing, my man? Let's do a little switch rule here. Did he push up? No, he didn't. Okay. What is that? Why would you do that? Man. He's upset. He's either not thinking straight or just just still doesn't understand what is happening here. This man's rooted. I'm gonna clear this. We have our two. And the dot damage on the bastard finishes him off. Oh, hello. He needs to ult here. Yeah. Let's put some damage. He's slowed. He's also disarmed. We put some more poke. We cannot really discourage him from killing anyone. So we're just gonna get back to our lane. Grab this. Thoth just dashed on the ward. Which is very unfortunate for him. Which is gonna put a lot of damage into his ass. Goes the safe route. That's bad for us. Just queuing that back animation in case things go wrong. We can just straight up back. Gonna clear this wave. Gonna grab the camp. Everything's fine. We're just gonna grab this camp. There goes the camp. The rip off is coming up, but I really need it back here. We're pretty low on HP. So what works here in the Nike mid lane is that her clear is insane. The disarm on the clear is also quite viable because a lot of people tend to box you after it's finished and it doesn't really work. The early damage on the mages is very very significant. They cannot really outrage you early to mid game and that discourages a lot of players from doing stuff you know. Also, her odd attacks are AoE. Look at that. I forced his dash and it cost me nothing. In 10 seconds, I'm gonna repeat that. Or I can just do this and straight up murder him. Ah, he's like 1 HP. Unfortunately, the damage wasn't exactly there, but you get the, the idea. He has no response to it. He has to back again and I am I can just do this. I don't give a shit. If there's an ADC on the enemy team, you can block so much shit with my two, it's not even funny. I'm gonna clear the wave, he will start losing XP and mana to the tower. Never mind, back is here to cover for him. We're going for the blood forge because so far this game was so much fun and I was diving constantly that the shield, the shield might really grind some gears. 
There's a big fight, Hera goes down, apparently back at ulted. He was too good to chase, so I assume he ulted. At this point, yeah, Bastard can just do this, and I can do that. Keep him annoyed. We knock him up, he's dead. Yep. The other big thing about Nike is the knock- Oh, there's the surrender vote. Before you guys say that, oh, well, that was a lucky game. No, I had like five of those today. And this is the longest it got, I think. So I'm gonna probably upload this one. Just so much pressure on the Nike and a lot of people in mid just don't have a response to that kind of aggression. And when you are farming the mid by four levels, they start to get pretty salty. So in terms of builds, we're obviously going uh, transcendence for a lot of power and attack speed boost because that's the only physical power boost that you should go right now because the warrior tabby just suck ass despite me looking for a lot of power by the way. That just allows us to swing a little bit faster and clear with our AoE attacks. The next high was supposed to be blood forge because I was diving towers a lot and getting a kill during a dive would allow me to survive with the blood forge shield. Part seeker would definitely be the next pickup or maybe Yodun's wrath for some additional CDR before we go into like heavy heavy power and heart seeker would definitely be the next pickup and at this point the sixth item i would be probably looking at double defense and maybe some additional cdr so to just round it up this will actually go on for quite some time because the scaling or nike's abilities is quite insane actually uh, i don't know why this died down but she was quite an efficient jungler back in the day a lot of people were using her on a constant basis and it just somehow died down but she is still pretty good she he wasn't getting any nerfs, she didn't go away. And she works in mid like a charm right now because the junglers have a lot of stuff to do in this season. They cannot help the enemy mid to just out contest you. In terms of damage, things are quite obvious. I destroyed this man, I'm four levels ahead of him. I triple his damage, I put down more words. I'm also top damage on the field, which is quite self-explanatory really. And comparatively, our jungle benefiting off of me destroying my lane also goes almost double the damage on the enemy jungler. Our solo laners are doing whatever they're doing, but it's actually also almost double the damage on the enemy solo laner, which is surprising. Our rear AEC mage pickup is actually behind, but our support is a little bit ahead. So I guess that evens it out, but the three lanes that we destroyed apparently were too salty and just straight up surrender. In terms of warding, the enemy solo laner did not exhaust his free ward and the enemy ADC didn't put down a single ward. He apparently has a couple buttons on his keyboard disabled. Otherwise, I just don't know how to explain it. And yes, that'll be Nike mid game guys. It's a really fun pickup. I urge you to pick it up. It's really fun. I'm not joking. I'm using this in low uh, in mid level ranked after the split start because a lot of low rank players just don't know how to respond to that kind of aggression. You really need to know what to do to actually be able to play around that. It's really hard to respond properly. And if you guys enjoyed the video, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps me immensely. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. I respond to every single comment on my channel which is true by the way not just a gimmicky phrase if you like the video leave a like on the video it helps the youtube algorithm to show my content to other people which is much appreciated and as always i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day